Saturday, May 18th, 2.29 p.m. New York time. Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. I'm going to discuss commodities. There's several categories in commodities. Metal, energy, agricultural. Agricultural is divided into the livestock and the ag. Commodities are priced in the U.S. dollar. I'm going to show you the futures markets where they trade, the symbols, lots of good stuff. If you've been following me for the past years, you probably have a lot more insight on commodities than the average person. Some insight I'll share with you. The commodity industry, the commodity traders, is a very small group. Very small. Commodities is a high demand product. There are some products inside the commodity markets that come and go on the financial markets trading. The product is still available to the customers. I'll give you an example. Years ago, in the United States, in the commodities market, the CBOE, sorry, the CBOT, Chicago Board of Option Trade, Eggs used to trade on the commodity market. They don't trade there anymore. A lot of reasons why. Yep. They're also in the commodities market, you have other products to get more of a demand. So with the high tech in the Western world, specifically the Western world, so we're growing high tech. Your technology for EVs, to charge your EVs, for your cell phones, for communication electronics. Yep, they use a lot of metals. One of the big industry use is copper. Yep, copper. Those EV chargers, those cell phones, telecommunications. Also have gold and silver in them. Big needs for those. So it's not just for jewelry. It's not just for coinage. We're looking here at a five-year chart. Each candle is a week. The U.S. dollar index weekly. The market cycles. Back here, this high of 2022, that was distribution, meaning smart money selling. So each chart I'm going to show you will be five years, and each candle will be weekly. Since it's Saturday, futures markets close. We know that current candles to the right is done. Yeah, so here are the U.S. dollar. Since last year and now, we're in this tight consolidation. First, this was a trend up, mark up. This was a trend down, mark down. Remember, high of here was 2022. So the US dollar is grinding down. Correlation is typically weaker the dollar, the higher the commodities go, in part. It's also demand, population growing, more demand for the ag, livestock, agriculture, as people more richer, they're going to expect, be able to afford more of the high-end livestock, red meats, not just your poultry or your hog. And then as more countries get more advanced, they're going to have a bigger need for the metals, for the infrastructure. So looking here at the U.S. dollar, we're still below the high of last year. We're above the low of last year. Here's the low of this year. Look at this huge consolidation. Big retracement of this impulse move up, grinding down. Opportunities, you could trade this US dollar in the equity market, AKA the stock market. I've shared many trade ideas on this to my Patreon members. The link's below. Let's start looking at the commodities. First category we'll look at is energy. The two major energy ones, sure, there's many more. The ones that are most heavily traded in the futures market. First, crude oil. Again, five-year chart. These candles a week. So crude oil. Here's the high of 2022. Here. Here's the high of 2023. Here's the low of 2023. We're inside that range of 2023. Huge consolidation. 
just like I showed you on the dollar. Yep. Building energy to break out of these white lines. It's a wedge. Lower highs, higher lows. It's building a wedge, and in the wedge is a coil getting tighter and tighter. And when it breaks out, that would be a new trend. I'm in bullish positions. I'm expecting crude oil to be higher by the end of the year. Have this huge impulse move down. We have these two green candles here, consolidation. Yep. Midpoint right there. Now we're looking at natural gas, another fossil fuel. Here was the high of 2022. Here's the high of 2023. And we did break below the low of 2023. Since then, we built a consolidation. Huge consolidation down here. Accumulation. Stand it. So there's consolidation and accumulation. And now we're in that markup phase. Same here. Here's a markup phase. Amazing, too, because we were very close to the all-time lows. Well, for the past five year lows right here. That was 2020, the lows. So we didn't test it. See, we we're above it, very close to it. A lot of buyers stepped there. Huge consolidation, built energy and breakout. Nice big moves up. Big impulse move up here, too. Natural gas. The United States has a huge supply of it. Huge. One of the issues we have is limited storage capacity. Remember, private sector. Private sector. The government does not own or operate. Taking the product out of the earth, but nor storing it. It's private sector. Okay, limited storage capacity. A lot of this product gets exported overseas. Other countries are building out their inventory. Sorry, building out their infrastructure to store it more. They don't have to depend on fossil fuels from Mother Russia, corruption. Let's go on to the next category. Metals. And yes, there is a lot of Crude oil in the black market. Russia sends its crude oil to China and to other nations to be converted into, through the refinery process, into oil. Once you go through that refinery process, yep, it's not easy, easy to identify which one is from the black market. Yep. So there are co conspirators helping Mother Russia. And then they're getting dollars to fund their personal needs that the government sees fit for the mother Russian. So the point is, this is a planet and inside the planet are commodities. And these commodities certainly could be used to create great wealth for countries and to build out great infrastructures as the United States is doing for high tech. Where some other nations don't share the wealth in, let's just say, social service products. Mass infrastructure. So the United States is on the lead of mass infrastructure. And again, these commodities are creating jobs for the mass renewal infrastructure in the United States. Now we'll get metals, gold. with the five-year chart. Gold, highs, all-time high, the five years here. Coming back up to that swing high, up strong. So again, part of this is because the dollar is declining and the demand is bigger now for commodities. I'm in bullish positions on gold. Silver, got all time high here. Well, sorry, high for the past five years. Silver, huge impulse move out. Took out that high of 2021, outstanding. Up strong, nice. Now we'll look at platinum. Is that plenium? How do you pronounce that? Help me out. Struggle's real. Again, new high for the year. Took out that swing point right here. That blue one. 
still below the high of last year, but I'm strong this year. And copper, taking out the high of 2022. Wow, strong like bull. Metals. Let's go on to the next. Agricultural. Here's some insight. Ukraine, Eastern Europe, is either the largest or one of the largest countries that grows sunflower seed oil. Yep. And they grow a huge amount of wheat products, wheat. And so a lot of that's Africa. Those are huge in oil. So very diverse commodities, Ukraine. Unfortunately, the war occurring there is making it very hard for those industries that have been supported a long time for good trade. So corn. Corn is used by several countries as ethanol or other countries use sugarcane. Corn is also feed for livestock. Corn is also consumption for humans. Here's a low for 2024. Doing a V-shaped pattern, consolidation, upside move. Here's a high of last year. Huge consolidation. So it's grinding up slow, corn. Rough rice. Huge consolidation. Here's the high of last year. With these impulse moves up, and consolidation. And also, you notice here, two weeks in a row, inside candles on rough rice. I explain that very well, multiple videos, on my Patreon page, inside of how this is likely have a play out with this inside candles. And wheat, new high for the year, forming a bearish pin bar. Nice move up here, big demand. And soybean oil. Near the lows of the year, still hovering near that low of last year right here. Soybean mill, that impulse move up, bearish pin bars, two of them. Expect those potentially retested. And soybean, yep. it's huge consolidation down here. Almost like a W pattern, right? We know how W patterns play out, right? Inverse from N patterns. Let's continue on to the next category, livestock. Live cattle, this year, made the new highs for the past five years, had the impulse move down, and now we're grinding back up there. Ready past the midpoint right there, another impulse move up, nice. Yeah, when corn, the higher price that going to get passed through live cattle because live cattle, some feeders give that to them. So, again, embedded cost of live cattle is including the feed into it and feeder cattle building a consolidation phase here, just shy of the highs of last year. And lean hog, so that gap that occurred went up to just shy that following week, shy of that midpoint. For a bearish pin bar retracement played out nice. So we have a gap here that may get filled. So big turnaround from that low of last year. Thank you as always for spending just a little time with me. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.